in my recent job search i have been interviewed at many companies and i'm creating a playlist containing different kinds of questions that i have collected in different interviews and in this particular video we'll be solving the question that was asked in flex car interview the interviewer asked me to create a polyfill for filter method you know let's go ahead and you know start solving it before solving it let's understand this filter method and then let's solve let's create a polyfill for filter method let me create an array right contain different elements different random elements so here is here are some elements now now we'll be will be trying to filter out the even numbers from this particular array now let's create this particular filter method right and um, uh, let's filter out the elements filter items right filtered items from this array with filter method item to extract the even numbers the number should be divisible by 2 so item is divisible by 2 in that case we'll be filtering that element and we'll be pushing that element to filtered elements and let me console this particular filtered elements here let me run it so here these are the even numbers from this particular array so now we need to create this particular polyfill for this filter method why do we actually you know why do we actually need polyfills means let's suppose some of the old browsers might not have this filter support so in that case this polyfill will help us create custom functionality for this filter method and um, you know run in the particular browser where this filter is not available so now let's let's create this particular filter and this filter is actually available in arrays dot arrays dot prototype in the similar way we need to make our new filter available in this particular arrays dot prototype so now what i'm going to do is i'll be i'll be creating a my filter function my filter function right so let me let me have this as a function instead of arrow functions so here we have this function and when we call this particular function in the similar way to this particular filter it should output the same right so in that case let me change it it should ideally output this once after our my filter creation mm, let me let me segregate this actually let me check let me put this particular condition outside filter will have any kind of callbacks right so let me let me put this particular function outside here I'm checking is even is even in that case I'll, I'll have this particular filter i'm calling this right i'll be checking once again let me check okay let me check yeah so here these are these are giving the same now in the similar way let me put is even here now i need to implement this particular my filter function now if you observe in an array while calling this filter method with this particular test condition if it passes the test condition then those elements are being returned within this particular filtered item so if you understand we need to return a new array which passes this particular condition check right 
so let me create a new array array new array this is the new array empty array and then i'll have to iterate over each and every element so i have to iterate over i'll have to iterate over each and every element and i need to check this particular callback condition and if it passes i'll be pushing into the new array this particular array can be accessed in this keyword right so here let i equals to 0 and i less than this dot length i plus plus so here array dot my filter my filter is being called on top of array that is the reason why this will be this whole array so i'm iterating over the whole array and uh, here i'll be checking this particular callback condition for each and every element for each and every element so here i'll be kind of checking is even let's say is even of this length in that case i'll be pushing that particular element into the new array so now i'll be pushing that element right pushing that element so here instead of checking this particular you know callback function directly i'll, I'll have to have a callback i mean this particular is even will be accessed here as any any kind of function whatever i pass here let me put it here as well so here i'll be able to filter all the elements which passes this particular condition at the end i'll be returning my new array so here let me let me check filtered poly fill items right let me console these items polyfill items let me console these if you observe here these both arrays are same which means our particular my filter is working similar to our filter method let's verify with any other condition maybe something like let's try to print the elements greater than greater than 30 let's try to print that greater elements written item greater than 30 let's say this is the condition that i'm passing let's pass this here and this here let's run it and if you observe my filter is working similar to the filter methods whatever questions that we are solving we are kind of you know pushing or you know creating blocks for those questions in in our official rowdy coders website with proper examples so yeah please subscribe to my channel if you like the content